beautiful thing about mantra meditation is that, you know, you can do it alone, but it's more powerful when you do it together. Because when you see faces of the people, when you see being them so free, eh? it's, it's such a beautiful experience. Over here we just had a bhakti yoga retreat and basically what bhakti yoga is yoga for the soul. Yoga means union. V yoga means separation. At the present time all of us are separated from our original source which is the absolute truth. But through this process of chanting the mantras we again come in contact and by that contact through meditating on the sound vibration the heart becomes filled with joy and we practically see that you know people who've never chanted before raise their hands and close their eyes and they begin swaying back and forth and some of them begin dancing exuberantly and that's because they the living being are coming in contact with the original living being and that is the true sense that is the highest form of yoga. Everybody likes good music, but when you combine good music with spiritual sound vibration, with mantra, then it takes the entire experience of that music to a whole different dimension. It's nothing of this world, in fact it's of another world, and it comes down to us so that we can practice it together, and then we can experience that sweetness. <laughs> I love chanting, I love the surrounding, I love the people here. I'm uh, detached from all the negativity outside. It's a blissful experience. So far it's great, people are, seem lovely and happy. We kind of danced a lot at 12 p.m. It was a big surprise, I didn't expect it and it was great. I felt happier and I felt uh, much more relaxed. And that's what I wanted. The food is very nice and the environment that they've chosen is very appropriate. So far it's blissful and it's joyful. It's a very soft, if we can call it a technique, to uh, open the heart. This is what we want to reach here, that people can really connect with their true identity and be who they are. <laughs>